Hi everyone, this is the last video of this particular assignment and after that we'll talk on project. But why am I doing a video on data cleanup? Well, let me rename this data cleanup. Okay, so I know a lot of people will not cover this, but our job is to showcase you how the real world looks like, right? To make you job ready, to make you actually professional. And to be honest, I haven't shown you the entire picture yet because I have used very small data sets which I have created myself. In reality, data sets will be very, very large with tens and thousands of flows from unknown sources. And it's not necessary that all the time we'll get a really clean, proper, structured data set. Right? For example, if you can look over here, you're seeing that some of these are properly left alight, but some of these have these white spaces, right? Which came up when I was copy pasting it, or maybe the data source was very bad. Uh, similarly, there are duplicates. For example, this entire row is a duplicate. Right? This is not good. Uh, so, what we actually made is we need to clean up this data. And that is why in this video, I want to teach you what is data cleanup. Please listen to this carefully. It's actually a very simple concept, but you must know it. Okay. So, data cleanup, all you need to do is there's this option called data cleanup. Here, it will actually give you some cleanup suggestions, but I do not want to do it this way. I actually want you to for the first time, actually make some effort to clean up some data. Okay, so here you have data cleanup. Of course, there are more ways to clean up the data. You can simply go to filter and let's say you only want to select the ones that have a profit of $30 and you can just delete this row. Okay, but actually you don't want to do that, right? You want to clean up the data based on the different errors that are there. Okay, so first of all, we want to Remove all these white spaces, okay? These are really, really ugly. Correct? So, let us remove the white spaces. We go to select all, then we go to data cleanup, and there is this trim white space, okay? So, what this will do is it will remove the white spaces from the front of every text and the back and the last of every text, the spaces. Why is this important? I actually cannot see it all the time, right? It is important because at times you'll compare different values of different cells. Now, let's say you have a particular thing called camera, okay? Camera doesn't have a space over here. But later on somewhere else, there will be a camera which might not actually have a, which might actually have a white space. Maybe something like this. So, in this case, when you compare this and this, they'll actually not be the same. Why? Because of this white space, which will be very irritating for you. So, very simple way is simply select this, data, and then you will data clean up and remove these white spaces, trim white space. Okay, white space has been removed from eight cells and now you can see this properly and neatly structured. But I hope you notice one thing, if you are an analyst or if you're gearing to be an analyst, you need to be having that eye for a detail. So if you're seeing this, this row is duplicated unnecessarily, right? That's not good. It must be more duplicate. So looks like this is also duplicated, right? So there might be many, many such duplicates, right? So, what we need to do is select all these and go to data, clean up and remove the plate. Now, our data has a header row, right? This product price quantity. So, in click on this, yeah, this is represented. Now, this will ask me which columns do I need to consider to, cons to think that this is a duplicate or not. That is, which columns should be unique according to me to make sure that I do not consider duplicates. So actually prices might be a duplicate, that is not a problem, quantity, a product and our vendor and our date. These should never be a duplicate, right? Because these should mostly be unique as per this data, for example. So I click on remove duplicates. Okay, they found two duplicate rows and 59 remain. So this was checking on the basis of certain values. If you're confused, I'll give you another example. In this particular data set, let's say headphones. Let's remove this. There are multiple instances of headphones, right? Headphones, headphones, headphones. Three instances, as you can see over here, two or three. Let's say I only want one row, okay, per product. So I just want one row of headphones, one row of power bank for no smartphones. I don't care about anything else. Other rows should be deleted, okay? So this is also possible. All I need to do is select data, data cleanup, remove duplicates, 
and in this case i'll only select product to be considered now wherever it is seeing that there's a product duplicate it will not check any other parameter it will simply just consider the topmost one and the below ones duplicates they will be deleted okay let's see what happens if i click on remove duplicates it deleted 39 rows and only kept 20 unique so now if you see headphones will only have one instance similarly smartwatch it only have one in I think it's very clear on how we clean on data, okay? And in the next video, we'll understand a proper project and how to use all these little, little concepts to actually understand something bigger. I mean, I'll see you in the next one.